We're gonna catch some fish tonight, my friends. One of my favorite things in the world is night fishing. And we're here at Kentucky Lake. We had a shoot uh, today. We're gonna go again tomorrow. So you can't be at Kentucky Lake and not get out on the lake at night. So we're gonna go give it a shot. It's been raining. We're probably gonna get wet. We're gonna take a chance to catch a big fish. You never know, maybe get a big brownie. So we'll see how it works out. But uh, I'm excited. It's one of my favorite things in the world to do. Got a good friend with me here, Jared Swift. It's gonna take us to a couple points and we definitely won't catch one in the cabin. So let's, let's make it happen. here at Kentucky Dam Village and I'll tell you night fishing can be a lot of fun but it can also be pretty dangerous so you see we, we already have our jackets on anytime we're running I don't run very hard and fast at night be definitely wearing my kill switch uh, you never want to use these 100% for your navigation but it's really good to verify what your eyes are seeing I have a spotlight with me nav lights are on you got to always make sure you have those and just don't get in a big hurry other than that it's the best time to catch the big fish Oh, here we go. Sauger. A little hard smell. That little rascal might need to be careful swimming out there a night like tonight. <laughs> he might get in trouble. Told you he'd catch the big ones at night. <laughs> we were raised together, jumping from pond to pond. You know, every now and then Dad would let us take a boat out, but for the most part, we, we did this exact same thing on local ponds. Oh, here we go. Got him? Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. A little better than the last one. Still not what exactly we're looking for, but we're going to be pretty happy about the Keep a fish? Pretty close. You know, if you get out in the lakes, it's a great time to get out and, and do this in the evening as well. Just be safe about it. But, I mean, does this bring back memories for you? Uh, sure, you know, 14, 15, and uh, hop around, get the buzz bait, and get the big spinner bait out and thump it around. Jitter bugs. Yeah, yeah. Good, healthy fish. So one of my favorite lures to throw at night is a uh, Colorado blade spinnerbait. And I like this because it's a big thump. This is a 5 8 ounce, so I can get it down pretty deep. I like the darker colors, a little purple, some pink. This has got purple and blue. But the other thing, this is a short arm spinnerbait. And if you notice, that puts that thump right there by that hook. These fish are hitting on motion and vibration, so you really want to be close to that hook. I mean, obviously, this Colorado blade spinnerbait's a really popular bait, but what other techniques do you like to use at night? Whatever I typically do, you know, we want to do dark colors, black, black and purple, black and red, black and blue, a big jig, a big 10, 12-inch worm. Starting to turn on, boys. Better get you a cup of coffee. Stay alert. Oh, here we go. It's another nice one. You want the net? No, it's all right. No, don't worry about the net. Quick release. <laughs> Straighten your bait out. That thing uh, had that spinner bait almost dead straight. Should have got the net. We got a little lazy on that one. He's gone now, but there's more. <laughs> you can start doing this, what, early June all the way through October. It's a really good post-spawn pattern. As soon as those fish come off the nest and they've moved out, I mean, you can catch them. You catch them up close to the bank, but really that's when it gets good. Look how thin that fish is. See how bloody that tail is? That fish is uh, fanned to bed, and it's just post-spawn. And it's come off that bed for a couple of days without eating, and now it's ready. I tell you what, there's an aura. There's an energy about the nighttime, you know? Something different about it. You know, this is an adventure, seriously, though. Bring the kids out here. You don't have to run all over the place. Put the trolling motor down. So far, we could have done every bit of the trolling motor. Sure. We didn't, I mean, really, you could have kayaked and done every single thing we've done here. Yeah. We're out here trying to have a good time. We're catching and releasing everything. Good opportunity. Do it safely out here at night without all this heat and pressure. Save a lot of money on sunscreen. <laughs> Big fish here, guys. This is what you come to Kentucky Lake for right here. Come out here and slow roll your... Here you go, Chad. Oh! Yeah, you got you about a four pounder or better. Nice little... That's what we come out here for. Did you get him on that stinger hook? Yeah, well, he ate it all pretty good. 
you know, you just need to take two or three baits and a rod and, uh, you know, get permission, obviously, but go hit a couple of ponds and that's, this is exactly how we were raised. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, uh, being out and just reminding me of how we did it when we were young and brought back a lot of memories and a lot of fun times.